Margaret Brennan, moderator of Face the Nation, joins us now from Washington, D.C. Margaret, great to see you. The president said today he wrote to that you. he was the one who wrote the answers to Robert Mueller's questions, not his attorney. So could this possibly be the last piece of the puzzle for the Mueller investigation before it concludes? One of the last pieces, because this was only one line of questioning. Uh, we know that Rudy Giuliani, the president's personal attorney who's been on this program before, has said uh, he wanted to only answer questions as it that were in a narrow uh, lane here, um, not necessarily willing to uh, talk about what happened when the president took office and obstruction of justice charges, but specifically about the questions regarding uh, any kind of interference uh, that the Trump campaign signed off on by Russian intelligence in the 2016 uh, campaign. So that's the part that the president is responding to now in uh, written form. But this isn't the last line of questioning from the special counsel. Uh, so it does indicate we're coming towards the end of the probe as to whether the decisions and conclusions by Robert Mueller will be made public. We're still waiting to hear. And that's one of the things we'll talk about on the show. Will Congress get a, co a copy of this? Uh, Elijah Cummings, who uh, is a Democrat who will have subpoena power when he's uh, running the House Oversight Committee in January, is going to be uh, a person who might have some answers to that. Margaret, our recount here in Florida is expected to finally wrap up Sunday at noon. The Senate race between Bill Nelson and Rick Scott among those being recounted. What will you be watching for when those results come in Sunday? Well, I think we're all interested in uh, election integrity and what this means because it shakes some faith nationwide. But uh, more largely what it means in Washington is it will help decide how narrow the Republican majority in the Senate will be. If Rick Scott is here, like he says he will be, uh, as senator, um, then this is a good thing for the president's agenda to keep that edge in the Senate. Because uh, remember, uh, that Republican control there is key to so many things on the president's agenda. And if you bring it back to the Mueller probe, if you see something like the House move to impeach the president, if the Republican controlled Senate uh, stops that from actually convicting, then uh, those efforts to to sort of force the president out would be stopped in their tracks. So this is important on many levels to helping the president uh, on his agenda and potentially uh, to build a wall of protection against impeachment. Margaret Brennan from Washington, D.C. for us. Thank you very much. Margaret, thank you. And join Margaret Brennan for Face the Nation Sunday at 1030 right here on CBS4. Still